Salve cari youtubers, questo è l'ultimo capitolo della nostra storia, l'ultimo capitolo di Cognition and Erika Reed Thriller, l'episodio 4, The Kane Killer. Mettiamo in italiano. Ok, così. L'ultimo capitolo. E di The Cane Killer. Nuovo gioco, iniziamo. Porta of corsa. Yeah. Abbiamo colpito John. You're gonna hate me for saying this. But I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me. You took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future? <clears throat> but if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! is going on who's doing this and how do they know about me? i knew you'd make it here i've been waiting for you to show up years you're about to find out how alike we really are please erica don't disappoint me i'm here to inform you that ms smith wants you to make yourself at home here but of course you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it she saw me i can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian. He's Garobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Erica. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things that we need to go over first. Ecco, l'inizio di King the King Killer. No cop should ever bury his murdered son. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry. It's all because of me. Because I couldn't... This will end the way it began. With fire, blood, and tears. This place is lively. I've seen worse, but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain. Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. 
How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see... <sighs> Listen, friend, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. I guess, but that still doesn't make it right. Don't worry, kiddo. If nothing else, the donuts will thicken your skin. Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I appreciate the risk you're taking. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed. Do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. Hmm. I'll do my best. Thank you. Assume positions. Be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. I'm here about Kane. Not on my watch. Erica! 
No, come? Eh no. Che dolore. <ride> Iniziamo. <ride> no. Sono qui per il cane. I'm here to check. All right, one final quick. Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. I can't read it. It's all gibberish. One Take minute. Time. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stick. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine. Tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. Jenna, run! Yeah, I'll you that. That wasn't my best decision. I'm here to check the inventory on... Alright, one final quick. Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Neither. Yeah, she's got the sm... About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stick. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. One, two. You know what's so great about look that I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. No, I don't know. Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Pick up, damn it. <sighs> Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. Called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup. Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door and the end begins. I haven't been to the family lake house in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. 
I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother. But I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. And if I can't stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Keys. Hmm. It might help with something. It's locked. No good. No good. Hmm. Furniture. Mom liked it that way. These old floorboards get very creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. No. No turning back now. Keep oh, that was close. It's Keith's hoodie. There's something in it. Aha! The keys to the house. Keith's work table. There's too much junk to look through right now. At least he won't be able to get away.
Casi no me pillan tu cauce. I can't use that there. What's this? Hey, what's this? There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. I'll take a pack or two. Or maybe three. Nothing under here. Keith's gun. My visions showed this ending badly. Max, I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do, but... I won't let anyone else suffer like we did. Yet, gun is just a distraction. I need a plan. Max loved sitting by the fire for hours. Mom, too. It... A heavy, sturdy table. I'll need something to protect myself. Not yet. No, the drugs are a backup. I don't want to use them unless it's necessary. is just a I need something to protect myself some thin wire this might do the trick hold.
No, I have to go around for that. Questo stage, oh mamma mia. there now cool surprised i i wanted to stupid because i need that's it i could usually suppress suddenly i want to try to forgive you keith can you you have to understand that this is something i can't control cordelia i must i understand Killing doesn't make... People like us, we can still love. Yes. I'm sure Max is grateful. Do you think... Keith, I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. Cordy. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You could do it again. Pull the trigger. Because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. But pain has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Erica? Cordelia, I've been... I've been looking for you. You've found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Get me the fuck out of here! Trust me. Ask Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation. Guai, saltiamo il, fi il filmato. Erica. Erica, my dear. Are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done. But I don't. But Sully? Davies? Oh, God. John, is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, you cannot help but connect to her human side. The woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh dear, I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty. And yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. 
I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun. A volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me, all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bautin? Yes. There was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad, and so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman, scaring the children. He was running from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it? Nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright light came, and there was a noise, a big broom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remember the man's word, fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy, a Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him, and I could not stop seeing his eyes, those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him? Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, and to this day I live by our moments together. Questo era il prologo dell'ultimo episodio di Cognition, The Cane Killer, quindi vi saluto e vi aspetto alla prossima parte. Ciao da Detective Arcanan, alla prossima!